Ta-da! Hey, hey, this is going to be interesting and I'm well excited. But it's going to be interesting because I have a very, very blustery east side. It is way too sunny for what I'm about to do on the west side. Welcome to an unboxing, hopefully like you've never seen before, including myself, because if you're an unboxing aficionada like me, you're gonna get three unboxings in one. In the description below, there's two more unboxings from Afri Orchids. One from Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents, and another one from Matt by Nature. Yes, we bit, we did, we took the bait. Orchids and Finbos, this one's on you, okay? Orchids and Finbos made a quick video about Afri Orchids in South Africa, preparing shipments for Europe. And well, some of us suckers, <laughs> in my case, I couldn't help it. Spread the word, sent the info out there. And Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents and Matt by Nature, we were reeled in. Immediately, I went and checked everything that I wanted. And Oh goodness, okay, I just had a little bit of a shock because I'm quite surprised how small this box is. But I guess they have hope and they have faith in me that I'm going to grow these orchids to the size that they should be. I don't need this list. I know what's coming because I've got all my tags ready. But yes, if I am rambling, if I'm going way too fast, including for myself, please forgive me. Right. Yes, I knew exactly what I wanted. But then they sent their color catalog and I was like, hold your horses. Don't send me an invoice, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so we have 11, 11 orchids that we need to get out of here. Give them a welcome cocktail and welcome them to España, ole. Okay, enough of that nonsense. I don't need that fan today because it is so blustery. I hope it doesn't affect the mic but it looks like they're all in here and oh boy um right interesting i like it thank you Afrique orchids even the bag is authentic you know what oh sorry but that is african air in there oh gosh oh Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> First up, Lelia Fufuracea. Beautiful, beautiful orchid. Straight, like a rapiculous Lelia kind of style, growth habit. One that I'm going to thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Oh, let me do this on their behalf. There we go. Now that's what I call a label. Thank you, Afri Orchids. Beautiful pink blooms. Small grower. Not necessarily a rapiculous Lelia, but the bulbs are cute and they need some help. If I get mic disturbances, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to say that again. I'm going to try and do my best. But there she is, three bulbs. We need some hydration. Next up. You see my tower of tubs here? Yeah. <laughs> we went for it. Here's a tiny, tiny one. Oh. Why wouldn't you get a Mr. Sidium when you're ordering from South Africa? This is Mr. Sidium Capense. This is going to be interesting for me. Oh, she's a cutie. Had to get a Mr. Sidium. Something orangus like right? native to where this one comes from. This whole box, South Africa. Let's get you in here. Oh, this is a bag of goodies if I haven't seen one myself yet. Oh, goodness me, you look gorgeous. This, I think, is the one Sir Torquis. Comes from Kenya as well. Kenya, a big theme for my unboxing, big theme. Sirtorcus retermissa. Beautiful white flowers, also, and Grecoid family. 
something along those lines. Isn't she pretty? Lots and lots of white blooms. She won't grow any bigger. I gotta be careful. Those roots are long and dangly. Do you have a little hook? I can hook it to the side of the tub there. Perfect. We've got a cracked root, but that is to be expected coming all the way from, all the way from Africa. Dum da dum da dum dee dee. Waka waka hey hey. Here we go. You're also an angracoid. Erangerus muscicola. Also small growing, beautiful, fragrant little white blooms. Very, very excited. <laughs> I have things blowing all over the place. Things blowing all over the place. Oh, I'm so excited. What else have we got? This is certainly, ah, yes. You know, this is a bulbophyllum kind. It used to be called bulbophyllum, but it is a miniature one. Also with the funkiest little bulbs, so cute. Bulbophyllum or trias, as it is now called, disciflorum. Look at those chubby little pseudobulbs. Aren't they the cutest? I hope I can do this little guy justice. I hope because woo, 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 no viable roots. Are you broken? Are you kaput? No, you're okay. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> I'm gonna have to make sure that I try to handle this one properly. It's got the tiniest little like green, reddish, fleshy, alien, weird looking little blooms. But I thought, you know what? I do like boba films, I just don't like their rambling nature. So that's why I don't have many in my collection. Here we have the, a replacement orchid. It's the Vanda Pumilla. Because I messed up on my last one badly. So I'm hoping to get it right. <gasps> She's got a flower spike. Oh, you guys. Oh, Afri Orchids, thank you so much. Look at her. So I did have a blooming size the last time. Messed up really, really badly though. Also a miniature little Vanda. Oh my goodness, I hope that we can do her justice this time around. Oh, fingers crossed, peoples. Fingers crossed. There's a story behind every single orchid here. I think depending on how much time this video is going to take, I may make a second one and explain it in greater detail because I'm beyond excited. This is Epidendrum Schweinfurtiana, or as they now call it, there, Ostadella. This has the pink, shocking pink lip and sort of bronzy petals that could turn into orange depending on the light. Funky, funky 70s colors, you know? The shocking pink and the neon orange. This one goes to size, it's gonna be massive. And it's possible that I can grow it outside. It's possible, I don't know. But I had to have those colors. Gotta be careful here. I don't know what's underneath the papa. So many orchids can fit into one box. Who knew? Okay, we're losing leaves. It's like me, I'm losing hair. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I have my welcome cocktail prepared. I have never ordered from Afri Orchids before. I wouldn't know how they deal with things, how they ship. But I can tell you that coming from overseas, not within Europe, bare root, is the only way to go. So my welcome cocktail is the CalMag solution that I have together with seaweed, 40 parts per million of seaweed, 60 parts per million of CalMag at 6.3 because bare root. I'm not gonna put up any pictures because I don't know the rules and regulations and I don't wanna get a copyright strike, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous blooms. And this orchid is gonna get huge. 
if we get it right. Love the bamboo look of it. Oh, look, a new growth. Fantastic. New growth means new roots to come. Oh, yay. Schweinfurt is actually a, um, a town in Germany. Schweinfurtiana. Oh, this one is going to make me so happy if I can get it right. In your own little tub you go. I know who you are. Next up, this is my Catlia bicolor of Brasiliensis. Watch that wind. You're not going to blow away. You've just arrived. You're not blowing away. Been waiting for you for a long time. A long time waiting. But once they got to Germany, Elsner Orchidin sends them. This is going to make me nervous. Elsner Orchidin sends them and she was fast. They arrived in Germany on the 5th of July and today is the 9th of July. But of course, not posting today because I'm going to wait for Fernanda Nascimento orchids and succulents and Map by Nature to do their videos, get everything ready, and we're going to post on the same day. So this is Catlia bicolor, Brasilensis crossed with self. And if I'm shouting, I'm sorry, I'm just hoping that my voice will surpass what is happening wind-wise. We need help. Lots and lots of help here. I think we can do it though. Ooh, she looks tired, poor baby. And she's a bifoliate, oops. We're gonna need a lot of help for my little bicolor. Happy to have her though. And then we have two more to go, three more to go, I hope. Yes, three more to go. Get all my tags out. We are prepared and red day. <sighs> I'm just going to leave timestamps. I'm not doing a separate video. I'm going to leave timestamps and then I'll tell you about these ones here. Of course, you cannot, well, I can't have an Africa order without Ancelia Africana. So I saw Ancelia Africana Joe with Puff Adder right on the list that got sent straight away. And well, I got it, as you can tell. Ta-da! <laughs> and it was, was going to be my one and only Ancelia Africana to add to the one I already have, because now that one's doing well. I'm going to go for more. So this is going, this is, this makes me so happy. You have no idea how happy. Look, she's going to be okay. She's probably out of season now that she's arrived in my climate because mine is growing new growth. So I don't see any here, but we have another opportunity to see if they're out of season or not. Because wait, there's more. <laughs> and this one <clears throat> is Ancelia Africana Buffalo crossed with Leo. The reason I got this one when I saw it on the catalog, see I'm fighting the wind here, it's no joke, is because Buffalo, we were the buffs in my high school in Africa, we were the buffaloes, and my son's horoscope is Leo, so please, really, you think I'm going to walk away from that one? So when I saw that in their catalog, I'm like, <laughs> No way, you're coming home. There we go. Buffalo crossed with Leo. So this one's going to need a lot more help. I don't see any new growths and a good cleanup, a good soaking. I'm sure it's going to be okay. It's going to be very, very set back. But hey ho, we were the buffs and my son's horoscope. <laughs> Right, you go in here. There we go. And then there's one more. <laughs> I'm not saying the pièces de résistance. They're all pièces de résistance. All of them. 
so excited for this order. It's not something that should have happened. It shouldn't have happened, but you know what? Orchids and Finbos, I am not holding it against you for making that video. <laughs> but <clears throat> this one is Anselia Africana. Wait for it. Kenya mud, as in mud pies, safari mud, and all that. Kenya mud crossed with sibling dark. That's it. And I am all for Kenya mud. Love the stuff. <laughs> Showered many, many, many tons of it off my body. I don't know that it's going to be the red mud that I'm accustomed to in Kenya, but we also have some serious other colored mud. So when I saw this, really, and you think I'm gonna just leave it in the cart? Hapana! Hapana, you're coming to the boma. This is my boma now. Hapana meaning no in Swahili, and boma is home, hut, dwelling in Swahili. So, karibuni to my African newcomers here. And you have to go in here. And I'm super, super pleased that I have three more Ancelias to take care of. That brings them up to four in my collection with such fabulous, fabulous names. Well, well excited. So let me just get this organized, give them all a good drink so that they don't blow over. It has been a nightmare, but I need to get these guys situated. If I put some water in, maybe that'll just stop everything and help everything to stay where it's supposed to be. My Lelia is getting, is going rogue back there. This is what I call a stash. Some of the roots are starting to hydrate, which is amazing. I have not put the little trias into any kind of water. Those little pseudobulbs down there are a little bit too delicate for my liking. So I just dunked it a little bit in the water just to give it some humidity around the base. But everybody else is hydrating nicely. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. You know that I would love to get them all in a pot, but now is not the time. Now we do this on the daily. Dunk and dry, dunk and dry. And then we'll see how they respond, how they acclimate. This one, the Schweinfortiana can go straight into a pot. I don't see any issues here. Good cleanup and off they go. Thank you so much for putting up with my excitement. I hope this video wasn't too long. And once again, there are two more unboxings in the description below. And let's see what Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents has and what Matt by Nature got. I am super, super curious. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everybody. Stay safe and take care. Bye.